Um, okay, so hi, I'm Audrey. Hi, Audrey. Uh, and um, you may have noticed it's November. People do a lot of things in November. Uh, some people write novels in November. You've maybe heard of it, it's called NaNoWriMo. Uh, a novel for NaNoWriMo is defined as being 50,000 words. There are not a lot of requirements around the words. Uh, so somebody I know had this idea that maybe you could write code to write 50,000 words. And that would also be a novel. And so uh, now we have National Novel Generation Month. And that's what I'm participating in. <laughs> um, so it, it's actually, it's very interesting because uh, there's this entire history going back to the 1950s of electronic literature uh, created by computers, um, starting with a love letter generator written in Fortran. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you should look it up because it says these really amazingly ridiculous things like my sweetest, you know, like random noun. And <laughs> it's, it's endearing in this um, clueless kind of way. So uh, anyhow, so there's, there's a long history of electronic literature where people write code to write poetry, um, but also uh, there's a lot of research that goes into things like chatbots and how to uh, make code generate human speech that sounds normal and natural and contextual. Um, and then uh, additionally, there's just things that people do for fun, like take all of Moby Dick and replace it with the word meow in different <laughs> links. Uh, so if, if any of those sorts of things, you know, again, you write code and you get 50,000 words and the, the middle does not actually matter, sound interesting, then you should go to this lovely GitHub repo uh, at nano genmo 2015 and uh, file an issue because that's how you tell people that you are going to write a novel in code, with code. Uh, so mine is called hyperbole because I thought it was going to be ridiculous and I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and to uh, further make sure that I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm doing it in Python. Um, <laughs> I've always meant to try it out, you know, so here we go. So this is the code of my novel so far. It takes the text of Pride and Prejudice and The Dunwich Horror and Hound of the Baskervilles and picks some chapters and puts them together. It'll get better, I promise. Um, <laughs> so anyhow, I encourage you to go and just have a look even and see some of the other things that people are doing. Somebody uh, posted that they plan to do an automated travelogue that's sort of like a, a walk generator thing that notes what it discovers. Um, and I think that's pretty fascinating. And there's some cool stuff. And if you want to read something that is less randomly generated, I publish a magazine called The Recompiler. Um, it's about learning how to do technology without a lot of uh, suckage. And um, <laughs> if you like the S-Trace talk, we focus a lot on infrastructure backend topics and um, just generally understanding all of the things that people hand wave over so that you can not just nod along. So thank you. <laughs>